Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chris from The Grid Hi-Fi. We're out here at the Asylum in Houston, Texas. We're about to let you guys know about the brand new LS12000 from Epson. We're gonna get into it right after the intro. Hi, I'm BK from Lucas Sales. We are the Epson representatives here in Texas. We are gonna talk about Epson's brand new laser LS12000 projector. This is an all new chassis that they have developed for ultra high performance theater solutions. It is new and improved over the previous generation by having a laser light engine. No longer does it have a bulb. So you're gonna get more life out of it. Uh, you're gonna get better color accuracy and you're gonna have faster turn on and turn off time with a laser solution. This projector also has a brand new video processing engine. It's the best one they've ever made. So this is gonna give you the best video performance of any projector Epson has ever had. Uh, it also comes with a three year warranty and it comes with the mount in the box. So it's a really full featured solution. Another uh, few differences between this and the previous generation is this has a 73 points of adjustment within the menu system. So you can really dial in this projector. It will look fabulous right out of the box. However, once you get it in, dialed in, set up to the room and the screen, you can get a really phenomenal picture with all of the adjustments that you can make within it. So another cool feature about this projector is it has a special anamorphic mode. It's the only one in their lineup that does. What that means is, is when you're watching a two, three, five to one project uh, movie, you will see black bars top and bottom on a standard 16 by nine screen. However, this has the correct mode that if you put a 235 or 240 screen, the ultra wide scope screen, and you add the Panamorph lens in front of the projector, you will actually get all of the pixels and all of the light will give you that 240 scope image so that you're not cutting off, not getting the black bars, obviously. You have to set it up, but this, per this particular lens from Panamorph actually just snaps right into the Epson projector. So it's a super simple installation. Still need to do some calibrations with it because it will change the throw distance and what you are uh, using in terms of the uh, height, but it will give you the best movie viewing solution for any time you're watching movies. Okay guys, so let's check out a couple things over here. So what we got right here, this is a 3D visual representation of what the Rec. 709 color space is, right? So if you look at the top here, you see kind of like that little nipple and you see down at the bottom, the thickness is what you're gonna be having for your luminance overall with uh, with uh, Rec. 709 color space. So this is a standard in 1080p. Over here, we have uh, pretty much the standard for 4K. You know, you have BT2020, this is DCI P3. So this is a visual representation of that as well. So if you look over here, you see at the top, you have that little nipple again, and then you have the one down below. If you were to core this thing, that is the depth of the luminance throughout your entire image. So this is the color gamut for uh, for that one. So. The way that Epson works with their their design is they have a three LCD type of um, era type of uh, light engine. So what this is is you have three LCDs: one, two, three. So all of these get collected right on the back. So very very simple. This is how the light source works. So once you do that, actually even before you get there, let's talk about the new elephant in the room. So this is their laser light module. So we have the individual lasers here. These create a lot more color uniformity as well as uh, it reduces the vignetting for your light source. So this works out very, very well. You have some heat sinks there. It actually has a little bit of a weight to it. And I think that the overall uh, weight addition of the 12,000 versus the 6050 is about four pounds. So I think that this has a great deal to do with that because I've actually lifted up a bulb and it's not that heavy. But we have the lasers here on the actual unit itself. We have some heat sinks on the back. So I've pretty much talked about that. So it goes from here into here, which ends up giving you all these colors and whatnot whenever it comes out of the, uh, the other end. So we're looking at this in a full on torture environment. So this is their slate screen. So let me go ahead and correct for, um, let me bump up the ISO to actually look normal on the meter. So obviously I chose the absolute wrong <laughs> material for here because this is the one of the darker scenes in Avengers. But, uh, but this is what you're gonna be getting out of the 12,000. So this is a slate 
1.2 screen from SI. This is a two, I think it's a 240 screen. Um, the diagonal I'm gonna have to ask these guys about in just a minute. So let me see if I can grab something that's a little more bright for you guys. So this is still the same one. Here we go right here. A little bit brighter of a scene. But this is pretty much what you're gonna be getting right out of the box. And just to show, so you guys don't know, or so that you guys will know, this is a well-lit environment. We are in an absolute torture test. This is atypical for your living room or even, you know, just a, a normal theater environment. But this is the 12,000 right behind me. There's no trickery going on here. You guys know that this thing is actually just being lit up. So I think that's it. So I think we're gonna wrap it up here. If you guys want to grab any of these things, make sure to hit us up. We'll leave our links down in the description. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next video.